You ever seen this inside of a spaghetti squash before? Just a teeny tiny bit of spinach for everybody. What's up friends? Tonight I'm going to be making a yummy spaghetti squash pizza bowl. It's gonna have a little bit of spinach in it, some cheese, some parmesan, and then of course some sauce. It's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be delicious. We make this pretty frequently, it's one of our favorites, and it's super easy. It does take a little bit of time because the spaghetti squash has to cook for about 50 to 55 minutes. So keep that in mind when you're making it. Otherwise, let's get started. First, we're cutting up the spaghetti squash. All right, we're cutting this up. You're gonna chop each side off and split them in half, and you're gonna gut them. They're the best. There we go. There we go. Our kids eat maybe one half of these. Sometimes they don't even eat a full half because if, if they're big. So yeah, I'll eat a full half. Obviously, Danielle and I will. Sometimes I'll eat like one and a half. So that's kind of how the servings kind of go. You ever seen this inside of a spaghetti squash before? That's what they look like. All right, then we're going to scoop. They have seeds all up in them. Maybe you could make roasted, you know, seeds with them and they might taste good. I have no idea, but I just scoop them in the trash. All right, we're switching up to the bowl because it's way easier when you have something to like press down on. So you really wanna like make sure you're keeping um, thick sides, because that's what's gonna be the most of your spaghetti from your spaghetti squash. You're gonna be scraping that out whenever you cook it and eating it. So keep as much in there as possible. The thick walls, don't scoop too much, but just scoop out enough of the inside and the seeds, and then it should look like something like this. So once we're done with that, we're gonna take our halves, put some olive oil on them, and then salt and pepper, turn them upside down, and put them on the pan upside down, and then we're going to cook them for about 50, 55 minutes. All right, so while that's cooking, we are going to heat up some, not on high, maybe on like medium, maybe even closer to low, some oil. And then we're gonna put, usually I, min I chop up my own garlic and put it in there. Today we're just using the like minced garlic, little pre-made whatever. We're gonna squirt some of this in there. You're gonna cook it until it's fragrant says about 60 seconds. And always clean up behind yourself as you're making your dinner, guys. It's so much easier. It feels so much lighter whenever you are done making your meal and there's not a big mess around to have to clean up. So I always try to clean up as I go. I love garlic, so I use as much as I can until it's too garlicky, which is never. Where's my spatula? Here it is. We're going to cook this up, heat this up, let it start smelling real good and nice. And when it does that, then we're gonna throw the um, spinach in with it until that gets all cooked and wilty, and then that's done. All right, so we have not nearly enough spinach. This has five ounces, and that's all we have. I thought we had more, but I wanna say the recipe that we have, this is gonna turn into just nothing. So, it's, it's not so I use way more spinach than this recipe actually calls for. 
because you could almost double it because it's just not nearly enough spinach when you're making these. So my suggestion is at least do one and a half, if not double your actual spinach. Because I promise you'll get to that point and you'll be like, this is just a little teeny tiny bit of spinach. Just a teeny tiny bit of spinach for everybody. So if you don't like spinach, it's perfect for you. But it's actually really good in this recipe. So, whoops. I need all you guys. You can't be jumping out of the pan now. Oh, goodness. All right, we're almost done here. Nice and wilty. Turn it down. Probably can turn it off. It's so different coming from a house where we had gas, a gas range, to electric. It cooks way differently. Like we had to like go like almost high all the time on our gas. Where here it's like if you go even above medium, you're kind of pushing it. It's a little too hot. So it has kind of been like, which I think is the way it's probably supposed to be because the recipes I would make would be like cooking on medium heat. And I'm like, this isn't cooking, this isn't doing anything. It's taking forever to cook. Where here it's like, okay, you put it on medium or you put it on medium low, and you can actually like still cook some stuff. So, here we go, we're done. Check it, it's wealthy. We're done here. So now we can take out our spaghetti squash and start assembling this. Let's do it. Alright, so typically I will take a fork and you get my parmesan too and just flip these all over. And you can test these. I didn't need to because I already cooked them longer than I meant to. As long as you can poke a fork through them pretty easily, they're done. So you can be testing them around the 50 minute mark if you need to cook it a little longer. That's how you know. They look really yummy already by themselves. Don't even need to add anything. Just eat them the way they are. All right, so now we will kind of fork these out a little bit. It should come out really nice and easy. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, yeah. Oh yeah. Say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna add our spinach, which is again, not nearly enough. Now I'm even embarrassed to have this much spinach here. So we just do a little bit each one. That might, not even, that might even be too much for each one. See, you put, see it's usually supposed to be, it should be double this anyways, but look at that. Like that's really not even enough to make it, like to say you're eating spinach in it, okay? All right, now we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. All right, grab okay. some cheese. I got a new helper here. Sprinkle it on inside of it. You can get a little more than that. So I just like to grab a few little, grab as much as you want guys, but do, I usually grab about this much per one. Sprinkle it in there. So we're gonna sprinkle some cheese on them. Oh yeah, they're looking good now. So you have an option to mix this up. They say to mix it up. I say mix this recipe up however you want to. And if you want to mix it up, do it. If not, just go ahead and add the sauce and then the more cheese on top. And you can just mix it all up in the end anyways. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just mix it up. That's what it says to do. Again, it needs way more spinach than this. I'm gonna add a little more cheese on top of this. I'm gonna add a little nice. So Danielle actually bought this golden tomato sauce, but we're gonna use it for the first time on this recipe. It smells really good. Um, I think it'll, I think it'll blend very nicely with it. So we're just gonna pour it on top of this. Use as much as you'd like. I like to add quite a bit of sauce. I promise you will not regret that. A little more than you would think. Now, I got my big helpers here. They're gonna help put the cheese on top and then we'll put them back in the oven. All right, helpers, grab a handful and sprinkle it on top. All right, we are now ready to put these back in the oven, 20 minutes, and then they'll be done. 
Okay. Let's do it. All right, it's done. They smell so good. Let's pull them out. Let's see what we got. Wait, Dad, are those the pizza type? Yep. All right, here we go. What do you think? So you can add some basil. These got a little more crispy on top, which I kind of like that. I prefer it a little crispier, the cheese. So, because those are up on the, the higher rack, make them however you want. But they are delicious looking, amazing. Need to put some basil on them. Tastes like pizza. Call them a day. Some fresh basil. All right guys, what do you think? Are you gonna try it? Let me know if you make it, what you thought of it. Hope you enjoyed this video, making one of our favorite family gluten-free recipes. Let me know if you wanna see more. I uh, would love to make some more videos like this because I really enjoy cooking and making yummy food for our family, especially yummy food that's pretty healthy. So anyways, see you guys later. Love ya, bye.